tomorrow on the show, G is talking with the stars of 22 Jump Street, Channing Tatum as Chan, Chan as she yes. calls him, yeah, <laughs> and Jonah Hill. All right, our next guests have just finished writing their debut novel, Your Perfect Life. Please welcome Liz Fenton and Lisa Steinke. <laughs> So, first off, the two of you were like best friends for BFFs for years and years, right? Yeah, we met in high school. And where did you get the idea for this book? Well, it's about two childhood best friends who switch body at, at their 20 year high school reunion. And I think we both always thought, like, maybe the, the other person's life is, is better. Okay, so this really happened that you guys switched bodies. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This book is not autobiographical. <laughs> at there's, all. there's days I've thought about it. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah? Be a little weird with your husband, though. So, True. I, don't know. I think he might like that, though. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so it's. Yeah. So, but it, it, it's a novel about uh, two people switching lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. And is it uh, how to live your perfect life? Is it inspirational that way? I think it's more about learning to love the life you have. Yes. Um, because mm -hmm. I think, especially in this age of social media, we are looking into other people's lives and thinking, I wish I had that, but instead of looking at your own and finding your own happiness. Yeah. You, exactly. you know, because what, what I found really interesting about the novel is that you chose this particular time in their lives. Like, you know, when you're kind of midway through, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you are, when you have a lot of regrets, a lot of wish, if I could have, would have, should have. Is that exactly. the reason you That's exactly went to the 20th year? Yeah, we were at that close to that time when we wrote the book and so we were kind of looking at our lives and it makes you think about a lot of things when you're turning that corner toward 40. Not going to say how old we are exactly, <laughs> but we were turning that corner. Yeah. Honey, I've turned the corner. It's gone around. <laughs> we've, we've, the <laughs> corner's been turned. But, uh, I mean, but you do think about your life yeah. at that point. You could look back. What can we get from this book? Those of us who've turned the corner and spun around. I think two things. I think the first thing is to love the life you have. And then we hope that you'll want to pick up and call your best friend when you're done with it. Because it really, at the end of the day, it's a book about friends and their friendship. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of writing a book together. Mm -hmm. Like, how does that work? Would you work on, like, a chapter independently and then come together? Or how? Or did you sit actually together at a desk? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. That, no. that would never work. We would kill <laughs> no. each other. No, we'd kill each other. We live 2,000 miles apart. I'm in Chicago and Liz is in San Diego and we um, I'll write a chapter and then pass it to her and she'll write the next chapter and in this book we it's a dual narrative told from the perspective mm -hmm. of Casey and Rachel and so I wrote one character she wrote the other. Right and you and neither one of you wanted to be a writer when you were younger? I did. I actually always had secret she dreams did. of it. I used to write poem, bad poems in high school. <laughs> after dark, dark poems. Guys broke up with me. They're actually pretty funny to read now, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I think we both always loved writing, and we love books, and we still love books and other authors. Um, but I just had some bad journals in college. That, you, know, <laughs> you had the same dark journals? Yeah. Journal? yeah. yeah. Oh, I actually yeah. still have them, but I have them hidden from my husband in the back of it. I don't want him to know uh, what went on. He yeah. might know now. Yeah, I hope yeah. He's, 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 watching. he's watching. Yeah, he's probably in the closet right now, pulling them out. Yes, he knows they he's are. digging through it. Don't look. So uh, the grass is not greener on the other side. Your grass is good enough. I, oh, absolutely. I think being happy in your life is learning to be happy with what you have, and even if it's not yeah. perfect, and it's finding a hard thing to do. Yeah, in finding uh, happiness in those imperfections, because our friendship's not perfect, and yeah. and that's one of the things that makes it strong. I mean, we mm -hmm. fight, we get an email, even passive aggressive over email, whatever. I mean, <laughs> yeah. those things, but it's those things that make your friendship better. Yeah. Yes. Now, was this so successful that you two are going to do another novel together? We just turned it in. Oh, yeah. Coming out next, yeah. next, uh, next June, I think. Yep. It's called The Status of All Things, and it's got a Facebook twist to it. All right. Really well, all the best for that. And with this one, your perfect life. And guess what? Everyone in the audience is going home with a copy. <laughs> So good luck with the book. Thank you. And big thank you to Santita Jackson yes. for being my co host thank today. You. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. I got through it, everybody. Thank you so much for getting me through this. <laughs> I loved it. And you have a shout out you got to make. My niece Leah's coming out of grammar school. She's going to Whitney Young. I love her. Love you, girl. Yay. All right. Congrats. And, uh, and, and you're dating Channing now, so yes, we're going to uh, see you in Chan and I, Chan and I will be here together tomorrow, so uh, yeah, yeah, really looking forward to it. We'll see that on tape at least. <laughs> All right. Analog is making cocktails tonight in Windy City After Dark. We'll see you then. Luna is the